Um, thank you, everybody, um, all the distinguished guests. I'd like to thank my family, my mother, who uh, inspired me to be a teacher. She herself a teacher many years at the university and college uh, system. I watched her grade papers. I heard her talk about her students and what she was teaching. And I, kn I knew that teaching was going to be my future. My brother, um, who uh, was my tutor through math, and I wouldn't have made it ever through any math classes without him. So I really appreciate math teachers. Um, my friends who are here to support me, stand by me, um, listen to my stories, and they completely, uh, teachers, we live in a culture that nobody else understands. You have uh, friends that when you meet another person that's a teacher, you start talking, and they like roll their eyes and walk away. <laughs> I went on a cruise, and there were teachers there, and they wanted to leave, the, they couldn't get off the boat and get away from us, because teachers talk. So, and thank you, board members, Sacramento County Office of Education, um, superintendent, principal, friends, colleagues that I hold dear and near to my hearts that I cherish and I respect what you have to say, what you're doing in the classroom, and supporting me and I support you. What awesome teachers are here tonight. You are incredible to be the last one to present. I just want to soap. ditto. <laughs> But we do good work, don't we? What is real, asked the rabbit one day when they were lying side by side in the nursery fender be before Nana came in to clean the room. Does it mean having things that buzz inside you and a stick out handle? Real isn't how you are made, said the skin horse. It's a thing that happens to you. When a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. These simple words from Marguerite Williams' beloved story, The Velveteen Rabbit, describes my desire to become a real teacher. So why teach? I teach because I believe our youth represent our future, and the quality of education provided determines the character of our society. So I encourage you, fellow professional educators, to work harder when failure wants to rest. I call on you, travelers of knowledge, to lift each other up when failure strives to bring us down. When the storms of failure shadows upon us, let us pull ourselves strong into the wind. We cannot control the wind, but we can move the sail to ride into the harbor of dreams. Therefore, I will remember the lesson of a skin horse who explained how to become real. It doesn't happen all at once, said the skin horse. You become. It takes a long time. That's why it doesn't hap happen often to people who break easily or have sharp edges, who have to be carefully kept. Generally, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off, Your eyes have dropped out, and you get loose in the joints and very shabby. But those things don't matter at all, because once you are real, you cannot be ugly, except to people who don't understand. Thank you fellow travelers, my colleagues, my friends, my family, for being real. So, live long and prosper. Thank you.